Hey foodies, it's Deep Fry Friday and I'm so excited to share with you churros. These Spanish donuts are so yummy. Let's get started. The recipe's a little bit big, but it's broken down into three different chunks. So I think you're gonna enjoy it quite a bit. So let's look at the recipe. And as you can see, these are just the ingredients. If you want the full description, you can just see it down below. So we're gonna start by making the chocolate sauce. We've got some milk and I'm gonna pour in my chocolate and I'm gonna put in a quarter teaspoon of cinnamon. And then we're just gonna stir this up. The hot milk is gonna cause the chocolate to melt. And right away you can already see the chocolate melting. And this is gonna make a ganache. I've made ganaches before, and you can see those in my feed. Okay, the chocolate sauce has been mixed up. I'm gonna let that cool so that we have a nice chocolate sauce to do. Next, we wanna jump right into making cinnamon sugar. And that is just cinnamon, sugar. Okay, so we're going to start by putting our butter. Let's turn this on first. There we go. So we're putting our butter in, our salt, our sugar, our milk, and our water. And we're just gonna let this melt. Okay, so my milk and my water and butter mixture is all melted and it's boiling, so now I want to add my flour and stir vigorously. Okay, so that is done. You can see there's a nice sheen and a gloss on that. We're gonna add that to our mixing bowl. And I'm gonna mix it. That's my shot. And I'm gonna mix it with some eggs. Elasticity, it's, it's really quite nice. Okay, 
now we want to put this in our piping bag. I always have second doubts on recipes sometimes when I'm making them. And honestly, even when I go out for dinner, I go to some restaurants and I'm like, oh, that doesn't look like very much. And then the next thing I know, I'm halfway through and I'm like, I can't eat anymore. Do you ever have that problem? I wonder if you could let me know in your comments what kind of foods make you second guess yourself. temperature. I'm going to say somewhere around there. You want your oil to be at least 375 Fahrenheit, but no lower than 350. And if it's hotter than 375, you're going to burn your churros right away. And if it's too cool, then they're just going to get oily and kind of gross. Okay, there we go. tries to get the real hang of things. Hold the scissors the right way. One more. Look at that. You can see them browning already. They look amazing. The tip I'm using is, and I'll just clean that off, it's a rounded star tip and when it's rounded you're going to have more defined points on your on your churros oh it smells good so far okay so i'm going to flip this Don't they look amazing? Oh! Churros are cool enough. I'm just gonna dip them in the cinnamon sugar. Set them aside. I'm gonna go ahead and finish these and then we'll see the finished product. Look at these, don't they look wonderful? I mean, I had just the right amount of cinnamon and sugar. The chocolate sauce has turned out really well. There's only really one thing left to do and that's try them. So, oh, oh that smells so good. Let's, let's that. Oh, look at that. Mmm. Mmm. These are so light and airy. I think you're gonna love them. I look forward to reading all of your comments and hearing exactly what 
What, you you like the churros. Do you like them plain, just with a bit of cinnamon or cinnamon sugar? Or do you like them with a bit of chocolate? I look forward to seeing you again. Thanks for watching.